We've made it home to Nova Scotia. It is a winter wonderland, and oh my gosh, did we ever get slammed. Tonight, a huge winter storm buries the Maritimes. Communities in rural areas were left with roads that were nearly impassable. We are a few kilometers from the cabin, and as you can see, there is piles of snow, so there's no way we're gonna be able to just rip down and settle in. We've got some work ahead of us. And being the smart humans we are with this big snowstorm that we got, we decided to give a local a call and help us plow our way to the cabin. Because the snow has been accumulating for so many months now and it hasn't been maintained, it's super important we get one good plow in here. Here it comes. Let's see. Look at all the snow. Look at it. Look at that bank. This was a good call, Jazz. We have so much snow. They plowed our road so fast, we already met them at the driveway. Beer be girls. Plowing is something you have to be on top of. Here we go. Home! Home in the woods. Ah! Welcome home! Hi! Oh my god! My couch! My couch! My couch! I missed my couch! Did I ever miss this cabin? Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Where are the stairs? Oh! I love home! It's so... It's just better than I remember it every time. Taking a step back and coming home makes me so happy. We left ourselves a lot of firewood. Nice, Jazz and Crystal. Christmas. There is a lot to do. I need to make a list, I think, in my brain or on paper, please. It's easy not to think about it when you're not here, but getting home, we have so, 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 so much to do. Days of work, honestly. Even though there's a million and one things to do, I'm happy to be home. Let's go check on our batteries. I'm pretty scared right now, not gonna lie. I'm very curious. We've had somebody looking after the cabin and I'm almost positive they've been writing everything down and hopefully we'll be able to share with you how they've been. But right now, we've been without sun for many days. What? So low. What? 28. Damn. They can't drop below 20. That sucks. I don't think we can move back in yet before doing this. We are buried in snow, everyone. Wild. It's really piled here. So let's let's take care of this, right? Yeah. We might as well do it right now. Where's the snowblower? <laughs> <laughs> it's not fluffy. It's like ice now. It's heavy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Taking my gloves off for this, I have some pretty interesting news. I don't even know if I want to hear this. Our amazing neighbors have been looking after the cabin every day, snowshoeing in and out of here, and making sure that it's warm and everything's great. Because as all of you know, and some of you may not know, the cabin is self-sustaining now when we're not here. It can pretty much manage itself. The power is working. The heat is on. We have our backup propane heaters set to super low while we're gone. Anyways, long story short, they have been monitoring the batteries every day and writing down the percentages. The lowest we saw it was the last time we were there at 43%. All of the rest of the times over the last two months they were here, it was between 86 and 100. And today is officially the lowest the batteries have been all winter, the all, day we got back. <laughs> no, all their life. All of their life, too. 28. There is <laughs> so much snow right here. There is easily a couple feet right, right up against the cabin and the doors. And that is gonna be the hardest part. Winter! Exactly what I don't want to be doing after driving 40 hours. Hi, Bella. Bella. You love the snow. Yeah, you love snow. You say thanks for bringing me back home, moms. 
further update, this list right here is the percentages of the batteries over the last two months. That's good. I'm happy to see this. That's a good experiment, honestly. Great shoveling, Bella. Beat. <laughs> This is exactly why we were trying to get here before the storm. Because when there's a storm, you have to be on top of it. And we were not on top of that. But the tractor's buried. So, here we go. All right, thank you. Hey, girl. Okay, I need to get to Clementine. Solar update, as we were shoveling the deck, the sun has been glistening and we are charging our batteries, everyone. I have a bigger smile on my face now. I was a little worried with that 28%, but as you can see, they are now at 43%. That's a big jump in the matter of an hour and a half. And then one panel's bringing in 5,401 watts, which is almost the peak amount that it can bring in due to the solar charge controller that we have, where the other one is bringing in 3,525 watts. This is a wonderful thing, everyone. Good news. Good news. I'm gonna be able to have coffee tomorrow. I have been craving. Another cool feature that I don't think we mentioned, having Starlink running off our solar system while we're not here, means that the internet was on the entire time and we were able to spy on the cameras, through, spy on the cabin through the cameras over the last two months and have full eyes on everything while we were gone. Super cool that we are at this point in off-grid living. I never thought that that would ever be an option, that we could be down in the Bahamas looking at our cabin from our phone. Are you coming, Shadow? Ready? Look at little Starlink. For anyone that doesn't know, Starlink has a built-in heater. That's why it's clear. Maybe we should build in a heater on our deck. This doesn't look like a lot of snow, but it's because it's compacted here. So I'm not really sinking that much. Look at all the snow underneath the panels, eh? From them falling. Mounds. All right, Clementine. Give her a hug. Man, I love our woodshed. I miss this place. Cabin life is a love for me. Okay, Clementine. Okay. How are you doing, Clementine? I'm very sorry I left you for this long, but I'm back now. And Clementine, I know you're like a dog, so you don't even care. You're just happy to see us. You know how everyone says you should talk to your plants, so you should also talk to your tractor. Helps it start up nicer. And Clementine, I just want to let you know, this year we're going to build you a shelter as soon as the ground isn't frozen, okay? You're going to be so warm next year. Maybe I'll even take you to Baja. You like Baja. Who thinks Clem's gonna start up? Me. Yeah, so when I put the key in, it doesn't move. How many people in the comments are gonna write, told you to build Clementine a shelter before the winter. I know, you're all right. <laughs> great news we're gonna let Clementine warm up and I'm gonna go grab some diesel because it's low and that's not good you don't want to bleed the lines give but her a fresh drink of that kool-aid <laughs> um you're not coming right no okay I'm gonna cool. get started yeah well let me just empty the truck then for you First things first, I need to find a diesel can that doesn't have snow in it. Nothing worse than water in the fuel. And this is what I'm dealing with, everyone. No one to blame but our own selves. This one might be my best bet so far. <laughs> what is that? I don't even know what I'm stepping on right now. Oh, oopsie. Bye. Oh. Okay, 
Welcome back to the cabin, everyone. Jazz and I are going our separate ways because there is so much to do. There's a lot to put away in here. We want to get the cabin up to temperature that we'll be able to sleep tonight. And there's lots of mail to be put away. All that food, clothing, dog bed, everything needs to go away back in its home. Listen to that sound. It's crackling. I missed it a lot. We've got a sweet deal, 50% off dog food. Can you believe what time it is already, girls? This is Sundays for Dogs. Excited. It's been an entire year now since we changed Bella and Izzy's diet to raw whole food ingredients. And we've been putting our best foot forward to give them the most nutritious meals every day. If we want our dogs to live as long as possible, we need to feed them the freshest ingredients possible. Something that we wish we did so much sooner. They're only one of two foods available in the US that offer complete nutrition with zero synthetics. No fillers. It's actually food that's been air dried. They love it. And mom's taking extra long to feed you today because I'm talking to the camera. Why do the girls love Sundays? Well, the first few ingredients, turkey heart and turkey liver. Organs, dogs need a secreting organ and a muscular organ. And this has both, along with turmeric, ground bone, parsley, lots of beautiful whole food ingredients. It's so nutritious, your dogs will love it. If you've ever been interested in feeding your dog fresh food, this is a great way to start. And I know switching your dog's food is a commitment, but both you and your dog will be so happy you did. A little tip to switch with ease is to do it gradually and to add unpasteurized goat milk as it helps with digestion. Yeah, I'm a canine nutritionist now, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Every order ships right to your door so you'll never have to worry about running out of dog food again. And guess what? They're offering a 50% discount. 50%. That is by far the best discount we've ever had on our channel. That's half off your first time trying Sundays. Go to sundaysfordogs.com forward slash vanwise and use code vanwise for 50% off. These girls are getting so impatient. Oh my gosh. Good Ready? job, girls. You did it. Turn. Good girl. Leave it. Kiss. Kiss? Oh, no, 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 kiss. We obviously couldn't return to the cabin without stopping and getting tons of food because there's no way once we got here, we were gonna turn around and drive out of here again. It's so funny, I feel like the start of any adventure, there's a humongous packing list and so much to take care of when we leave and it's always the same when we come home. We will be busy the next few days. Thank you, bye dog. We have the dieselina. Let's roll. Oh, hello. That took me about an entire hour, but the fridge is stocked. The living room here and kitchen are put away and everything is clean. Yay, it looks amazing. And I'm so happy to have this space back. It's so magic. You heard that right. <laughs> Every time I drive on the cabin's road, I am reminded that calling that plow was definitely necessary and one of the best and smartest ideas we both have ever had. What a dream. It also looks magical with the snow banks and the sun coming down and all the snow on the trees. So nice. Look at that cute dog, everyone. Hello. Look at those animal tracks, it's like a little birdie. I am gonna keep my gas tanks right here. <laughs> Seems like a better spot, I'd say. Warm up, Clem. Go help, Crystal. By the time we're I'm done that, I'll be able to hopefully get in the tractor tonight and make some pathways, I don't know. See that little squiggly light right there? Those are the glow plugs and you hold the key in position two. 
That way they warm up because it is a diesel. You never just want to crank a diesel. Not even a gas for that matter. Treat machine's nice. And I'm going to do a few cycles. A key out. Just because the last start was pretty rough. Here we go. That was a perfect startup. I am so proud of Clementine. And there's no glow plug light on the dash anymore. So Clementine was just cold, y'all. Oh, I smell a fire crackling. Wow. Next on my to-do list, check our propane tanks. We've been running the cabin on propane heaters. They are very efficient. They're off-grid ones. They take, they take absolutely no electricity or anything. However, they haven't had any other counter heat to help it out. So I need to check these tanks because we might need to get the propane people here. Number one is at 20%, 30%, 25, 30. That's super good. They have a lot of propane left. Check these propane tanks. And in here is only a propane heater. But now that we're here, propane is our last uh, source. So we'll be stoking the fire and all that jazz. Wow, it's deep snow. There's the heater. Here's the tanks. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm up to my knees. And obviously we're using the propane heaters because we were away. So they're really good to have as a backup to give you a sense of freedom. But also, it's just so important to have at least three ways to heat your house in Canada while living off grid because you just never know what Mother Nature's gonna bring you. 20, and they weren't full when we left, so. 25, 20. I definitely didn't make it in time for plowing. By the time I get the tractor, unstuck out of this huge snow pile, the sun is gonna be gone. It's already below the trees. Nighttime already. There is nothing like waking up in your own bed. I can't even explain to you how good it felt to open my eyes, even in the middle of the night, just to nothing but silence and the views of the woods. It's so quiet. <laughs> and this bed is so comfortable. Crystal, I don't think we're the only ones happy to be home. Look at the girls outside. We all know what happens after coffee and especially that coffee machine. Speaking about Mav, when he stayed at our house and had coffee from our coffee machine, he called himself Outhouse Man. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is why you build a cantilever over decks. Outhouse! Oh my gosh, there's snow inside of here. What is going on? Oh my gosh, Jasmine and Crystal. I have no idea where this two by four came from. Ice. Have you seen a prettier view? Hi, needy girl. I think I forget how much I actually like the outhouse until I'm out here. Okay, goodbye everyone. And if you're wondering why we're using the outhouse and not our incinerator toilet, well, that's because we no longer have an incinerator toilet. And that's a whole story on its own. If you would like to hear it, let us know because 
I think it's a story worth telling. Big breakfast. I might need two hands. Good morning. Well, yesterday we spent hours upon hours <laughs> shoveling snow. It is a full body workout and we were absolutely exhausted last night. Today, Clementine has started once again and we are going to attempt to move Clem and start moving some snow. I feel like Jasmine in, is quite doubtful that Clementine's gonna be able to get out of that right now. But I think with a little bit of patience, she'll be out in no time. Trying to get the tractor unburied is gonna go, I don't even know what way right now. I'm gonna first just try to see if it will move. Slowly bucket the snow out from in front of me and see if I can gain traction. Clementine is in the ditch. But let me tell you, this is the best way to plow snow. All of those massive snow banks that the snow plow truck made, I am removing them all and making the most gorgeous pathways for all of us to be able to walk and doing it with a breeze. Jasmine has successfully made us paths to the garage the house, the greenhouse, and the solar array. Clementine is an absolute beast of a tractor. We love her. And if I could sum up today, it would be the perfect winter day back home in Canada. We've got a beautiful fire going here in front of me. The girls are napping in the soft snow. The sun is out. The solar is charging. Jasmine is in her tractor. I would say everyone is content and very, very happy to be home. And I only dig the shed. Half the battle has been just being able to walk certain places. We can now get our tools, which is super exciting. And we are no longer, well, our pathways are no longer buried in snow anymore, which is a good feeling. Feels nice to walk with ease, eh? <laughs> but what is still buried in snow is our roof. I'm not gonna lie, we totally gapped on putting up the snow. What are they called? Guards. Snow guards, obviously. Snow guards up on the our bedroom window. We didn't have these windows before, so you didn't really need a snow guard. We just have one right here for where we walk. So this door is danger, and so is that door. Danger when walking out, or especially when Bella and Izzy are walking out, because that is a lot of snow, and if it hits you, you could probably get concussed. And I don't think it's too good for the new gutters. It's like an ice ring. Hey, 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 hey!